I hate to always be so negative about Overwatch because I do enjoy it and genuinely have a lot of fun playing it. But the lack of effort from Blizzard to do very basic things has really discouraged me from playing the game. I mean, why would I want to play a game that the developers don't even care about? They constantly settle for the bare minimum and rarely take feedback from the community. And when they do, it is weeks if not months down the line. This is getting absolutely ridiculous, so in this video I'm going to talk all about why Blizzard have pretty much given up. I'll get into it in a minute, but first I'm going to ask you to subscribe and leave a like on this video, as I want to continue making Overwatch 2 related content that's not only entertaining, but educational too. I'm going to start off by talking about the World of Warcraft collab, as the trailer recently released to a very mixed reaction. This collab is getting four skins. Lich King Reinhardt, Sylvanas Widowmaker, Thrall Senyata, and Diamond Magni Torbjorn. At base, this looks pretty good. Four skins for a collab is a good number, and you can guarantee that there's going to be a bunch of sprays and name cards and whatnot thrown in with them. But then you notice one glaring problem. Two of the new skins are made from pre-existing assets in the game. The more obvious one is the Diamond Magni skin, because we already have regular Magni for Torbjorn, this is just straight up a recolor. However, the less obvious one is Thrall Zenyata, which actually uses the base of his cultist skin. Compare them side to side, and you can just tell that they're the same model, just with a few tweaks. Is this what collab skins have been demoted to now? Just recolors and reworks of old skins. I understand that World of Warcraft is another Blizzard properly, but that doesn't mean that they can cut corners and be lazy. This looks absolutely terrible on their part, making it look like they don't care for other properties, which, if properties were interested in collabing with Overwatch, let's say for example a studio mapper anime like Chainsaw Man that needs a lot of effort put into it to be successful, it's just going to turn them off the idea of it because it looks like Blizzard can't be bothered to give it the attention it needs. Talking about giving things the attention that they need, this is the perfect segue into me whining about nerfs. They finally addressed the elephant in the room. Diva is finally getting nerfed. And also Sombra, but I don't really care about her. I can actually deal with her. She's not as huge of a problem as Diva. There's just one problem. It's not necessarily a nerf specifically to Diva, but the entire role of tank. I'm done. I'm I'm leaving this god awful game. You didn't need to do this. Not every tank is a bullet sponge because of the amount of armor they have and how effective it is. It's only so effective on D.Va because it takes up half of her entire health bar. Please, for once, use your brain because this is getting painful and repetitive. Use your brain! Use your brain! Use your brain! The thing in your head, use it! How many times are we gonna go, ooh, we need to tweak the passive down again? Oh, uh-oh, too much, time to up it again. Address the fact that some tanks, like D.Va, have way too much mitigation rather than shafting the entire role because there's one bad apple ruining it for everyone. Oh wait, that would require effort, wouldn't it? That would mean having to change the coding of a specific hero when you can just change the code of all heroes in the same role for an easy patch. No wonder your company is sinking and the game is falling off, you just don't care anymore. You might blame this on the most recent Activision Blizzard layoffs, but it looks like they didn't actually affect the Overwatch team at all, with the brunt of these cuts being more corporate and support roles. Did the layoffs at the start of this year and throughout last year affect them? Yes, absolutely. As we know, half of Team 4 were laid off, which massively impacted the rate and scale of content releasing. Obviously, their game that was in the works got completely cancelled. But to me, this doesn't excuse the lack of effort put into the game as of recent. I understand that it isn't easy to do sound design, actually 3D model and render skins, make elements of the skins that are interactive and unique, all that jazz, basically. But if they need more time, then Blizzard needs to give them more time. They need to stop beating around the bush and releasing things when they're half finished. That's how we've now got to the point where it's been 8 months and Venture is only just getting their first skin in Season 14. If anything, it has me scared for the treatment of future heroes. We've already seen it with Juno, as she didn't release with any legendary skins like Venture. So, how long is this pattern gonna go on for? 
But that just about does it for this video. I really hope Blizzard realizes how bad a state the game is in at the moment due to their lack of care for it because it sucks. Throughout the entire lifespan of the original Overwatch, we never really had this many balancing problems or anything on the scale of what's tearing Overwatch 2 down. And before any of you say it's because of the switch from 6v6 to 5v5, just shut up. 6v6 will probably solve a few problems, but it'll also most likely create new problems. I guess we'll see when that comes as a quick play hacked game mode. Anyways, thanks for watching. Once again, I'm gonna ask you to like this video as it lets me know that you find these videos not only to be helpful, but entertaining. I sure do like complaining about this game. I do it from a place of passion and love for the game though. I want to see it get better because I enjoy playing it, but at the minute it feels more tasking than enjoyable. Finally, have a nice day or night if you're watching this at night, and make sure to check out my other videos. Not only will I appreciate it, but you might too.